Guys, what's up? It's Luke here, and today we're going to be looking at a video tutorial how to connect your wireless printer slash scanner to your Mac. Now, this this accounts for when any sort of Mac that you have. So whether or not that's a MacBook Pro, uh, you know, a Mac, or even a Mac Mac Mini. Okay, so they're all they're all uh, they're all usable and all they're all capable of using what we're about to teach today. So. If you're going to be using a wired printer, it's pretty obvious what you'll need to do. So you'll need to be connecting, um, you know, via a wire, and the options to download the software, etc., will be available for you there. Now, however, it's kind of it's difficult if you're looking at wireless because, for starters, the printer needs to be wireless, um, whether or not that's Bluetooth or Wi-Fi, or you can connect it using your IP address. Now. If we look at system preferences, where you will have to look here, that's that little symbol here, and we can already see that printers and scanners are up. Now, if we just go back a minute, this is what you'll be faced with when you open up your system preferences. Of course, some of mine are slightly different to what yours will look like, but generally the same. Okay, so you'll be looking here at printers and scanners, which of course, if we select that, we'll go back to this part here. Now, I already have two, well, one printer, that's connected and also a scanner which is connected as well these are both the same thing they both have a printer and scanner inbuilt and uh, this is the Epson stylus SX440 or 440 and it has wireless capabilities as well as air print now this is something you want to look at when you buy a printer is whether or not it has air print capabilities so that you can print your you know whatever it is wirelessly and it can also be wired as well we do have the cable for that okay so if you don't have any selections here and you still have a printer what you want to do is press this or click here this little plus sign and it should give you an option of the wireless printers that are available in your household or in a certain radius from you and it will show you here I don't have any here at the moment because the one I have that's currently usable has been selected already so there is no obviously there's no need for that to be shown up here and of course it will tell you the name of it so in this case the Epson stylus SX440 would be mine and the kind is just a general printer air, air printer and of course when you select these it will tell you the name location and use and you have the the i the IP which you can use you can connect to someone else's um, just say for instance you're in a in a large office and everyone's connecting to one printer you can use IP here as well as if you're using Windows you can connect to a variety of printers and uh, yeah that's that's pretty general but if you're going to be using it just basically and uh, I mean I won't talk about these too much because I don't use them myself so there's not really any much use for me trying to talk about that and this is a basic tutorial but yeah if you want to add a new printer or you know open the scanner menus you can do that here as well um, but it's just simply you can put, use the plus sign here or if you want to take one away you can use that sign so are you sure you want to delete the printer no of course not but you know you have that option as well so just to recap what you'll be doing if you want to connect a printer to your your Mac whether or not it's MacBook Pro Air Mini you want to go to system preferences which is this sign here with the little the little cog and then locate printers and scanners click on that and then look at the plus sign look at the available printers making sure your printer is online and all of the all of the air print capabilities are on making sure that it is an air printer and then selecting it once you've selected it it should all come up nice and nice and uh, working or working well and once you've done that you'll obviously come out of here and you can test it so you'll just you can open up a, a document so like notes or pages and print out a page or anything like that and hopefully that should all be connected no problems at all and yeah that's basically it for the tutorial guys I hope that explained how to do it pretty much overall um, all of the other Macs are pretty much universal in that way so it's it's pretty easy in use if uh, if you've got any questions based upon what I've what I've explained here in this tutorial today please don't f uh, be afraid to post them in the in the comment section below and uh, I'll make sure I get back to you guys.